Good morning everybody and you are welcome in interdisciplinary reading class. Okay. Uh, today the topics what we are going to study is the top hat. The top hat is the second chapter from the Safiz world. Safiz world is one of the very significant book regarding uh, the study of philosophy because you know it has integrated the philosophical topics from the uh, Plato to the modern philosophy. Okay, now uh, briefly let's introduce to the author. Uh, this is the book of his world that is written by Justin Garter. Justin Garter was Norwegian writer. It's a novelist and short story writer. And uh, his special characteristics is, you know, he's very much sensitive regarding the issue of children, regarding the curiosity of the children on the basis of their learning. And his metafiction is basically related to sense of wonder about the world presented through children perspective. Children dimension learning style curiosity has been explored. That is his special characteristics. So his world is very important novel about the history of philosophy. Okay, all right. Uh, it's about author. Let's move down. And the topics what we are going to study is the top hat as a tool already. It is extracted from the Sophie's world. It is chapter second. And here are major character, but the most important character is Sophie herself, and she's the character. And you know the title of the book also Sophie, a very sensitive girl who does not like a uh, school teaching, school learning, what usually taught in school, that is not the matter of interest to her. She does not like self teaching. Strongly, she was strongly influenced by her philosophy teachers, Alberto Knox. Alberto Knox is one of the wonderful teachers, excellent teacher, inspired Sophie about her learning and he does not give any other traditional conventional way of teaching he inspired Safi about philosophy. Safi also uh, was quite different sort of the girl, you know. She does not like uh, a small children games like badminton, cars, volleyball, table tennis. Like, you know, usually what is played uh, by the small children in school, she doesn't like. And she was quite different. She asks her mother some question. The questions are not normal questions. She asks some philosophical questions. Mother does not respond to her questions because the reason is that what happened? Grown people have already been accustomed or the program by some uh, past tradition and orthodox. Grown people are habituated to take the thing for granted. They gradually lose the curiosity, sense of wonder gradually decreases and she always raises questions about mystery of nature. Sophie, see, she asks questions about the mystery of nature. Uh, what, did, what happened when she returned back from school and she get big envelopes in her mailbox? When she returned back from school, right? And she does not share the idea to anybody. Just what happened? She tell other. She just takes the envelopes and she goes to the corner, the back gardens, and she read. And in the envelopes, the questions, yes, one after another, gradually increase. Questions like, who are you? Who are you? Who made this universe? What is life? What happened after death? Such questions, one after another, one after another, gradually, today, one another, it's like frequently such questions are kept, but that is unknown and possibly you can guess that these are the questions sent by Alberto Knox. 
because you know that is the very excellent inspiring teachers and he inspires Safi in such a philosophical world okay now in this novel something we have to understand symbolically later we should not understand later only as a letter it should it is the symbol of or it symbolizes for quest of thought or the opinion that the curiosity deep level of curiosity and rabbit's fur rabbit fur should be understood as a deep knowledge and a fact not surface superficial knowledge as a bark but you know deep knowledge you have to go deep down to understand the reality deep knowledge in the fact why rabbit it human beings in the universe is the vastness is the complicated situation you know that is not easy to penetrate the depth of the universe okay that is symbolizes by the white rabbit and the top hat top hat top hat the mystery of the universe and the deep knowledge can only be perceived by few people they can reach there only remarkable person only can go there common ordinary people can reach there the top hat symbolizes mystery of universe and the knowledge only limited people can reach there all right it's short chapter that is the center idea now let's talk about some of the major character here as you already know that major character Sophy and the Alberto Knox. Sophy, I'm the sense a very curious call. Asks question regarding the mystery of the nature, mystery of the universe. She was significantly different from other children. She was quite curious, and she of course has the wonderful sense of curiosity. And another character is Alberto Knox. There are other teachers and other persons, friends. and mothers but you know alberto knox is quite different he is an excellent teacher the teacher of philosophy and inspires sophy about philosophical questions he does not teach children like other traditional conventional teachers but he inspires the children like sophy regarding the you know mystery of the nature mystery of the universe in he create curiosity about philosophy and other simple character like uh, hilde mol knox one of sophie's serious friend but she is not like sophie and jona sophie's best friend but you know think quite differently she is quite normal children and sophie's mother very simple mother you know she care about family but you know she does not like uh, the curiosity philosophical curiosity like sophie okay uh, that that is the simple explanation and theme of this the top hat second chapter okay everybody keep philosophy and sophy and the alberto knox in the center and interpret in your own way that is the center idea thank you thank you very much dear students